Hi babies, how are you? It's a real bitch in this motherfucker again. It's your girl Hazel Dior. How are you? This is subscriber request and I had to pull up real motherfucking quick how like with an hour time frame so we can discuss it. I'm gonna name this shit off the top of my head. I didn't write it down. I didn't really I didn't think about it prior. Story number one. I had went to Grand Rapids I'm here in Michigan for a weekend little escort money making trip I stayed at the Red Roof Inn you know I'm a real ass bitch ho and you know I'm gonna keep it real with you hoes I was at the Red Roof Inn and this guy had hit me up he was from Grand Haven that's like 45 minutes away from Grand Rapids so anyway, he's seeming cool as fuck, you know, we chatting over the phone, the messages. He just seemed cool, like he's so serious, trustworthy, and everything. I'm like, oh, I ain't got to worry about him. But anyway, he's he taking a little while, you know, to um, hit a bitch back. And I'm like, sweetie, how far is you again? He like, oh, I just got pulled over by the police. And, you know, that was holding me back. I'm sorry, babe, I'll be there. And he sent me a video after the phone call of him. Let me see if actually you can see me a little bit. Not too much, bitch, because I ain't got on no clothes. And he sent me a video of him drop, you know, getting pulled over by the police and everything. But he didn't show his face. I synced the lights, the car, you know, and all of that. So I'm like, oh, okay, he's telling the truth. I'll be there in 25 minutes. He was like, you got lube, you got condoms, you got all that. I was like, yes, babe, I got everything. Just come on. He got there. So it was this black, you know, trade, skinny. He had on a black do-rag. He had on some slides. You know, he was like, okay. Okay, okay looking guy. He wasn't bad looking. He wasn't really like my type, but he was okay looking, you know. He came in my room first, and I guess he was like, oh, hold on, and went right back out. He's like, I got to get something out the car, and I'm like, so he went and got something out the car. It was this black bag. I was like, what is that? He pulled out. He had this big-ass dildo. It was this clear, big-ass, like, 12-inch dildo that he pulled out his bag, and I'm like, oh, okay. He wanted me to fuck him with him. So anyway, we did our session. He paid for an hour. He paid for the hour, 120. You know, good session and everything. I was working, bitch. I'm talking about, I'm just sucking, just sucking the dick all good and stuff like that. And fucking him with the dildo at the same time. You like that, baby? Mm-hmm. You like that, baby? Mm -hmm. The nigga came and all that. He went to the bathroom. No, I got up because as soon as I got up, I went to the sink and, like, you know, washed my hands immediately. And um, started playing around with my hair and shit, you know, brushing it. You know, all that good shit. Just in the mirror because in the, in the um, bread roof and, you know, the mirror and the sink right here. And... Through the reflection of the mirror, you can see the door. So anyway, the bathroom was right here. You know how the bathroom um, um, toilet like make that noise when it wasn't not f when it's not flush properly or like the hinge is off or something like that. It make that stalling noise. So he was like, "Oh, come here. Let me show you how to fix this." So he, um, you know, messing around with doing something. He's like, yup, so if you ever have any problems, that's what you can do to fix it. I'm like, oh, bad, because I've been here for down there almost two days, and, you know, I was tired of hearing that noise. So, he fixed it. Next thing you know, I'm in the mirror just still just brushing my hair and shit, like Cinderella. You know, I guess he went over back to the bed to grab, put his dildo in the bag and put on his shoes and shit. Then he made it to the door, so I turned around to walk him to the door and he was like all right and you know he just moving real fast the bitch is walking fast as fuck out the motherfucking door 
And I just happened, I said, I just turned around. Where the fuck is my motherfucking donation at? You took the $120 that I had got from your bitch ass. From my motherfucking service? Oh, hell no, ho. So, bitch, I hurry up and... I was naked, butt naked. I hurried up and threw on my booty short and put on my bra real motherfucking quick. And I ran out there. That bitch was gone. I'm talking about the bitch was gone. The nigga was gone. I'm just walking all around and I went all the way down. Outside, he ain't nowhere to be found. I ain't hear no car start up or nothing. It's nighttime. I'm like... Damn, did the bi- I know this motherfucker ain't hurry up and just hop in no car and just skirt it off. What he did was he must have hid behind another car or something like that. That's what the fuck he did. And I was like, you know what, fuck that pussy ass bitch. And I texted him a whole bunch of shit. And I said, you done fucked up. It was three bands over here in this bag on a dresser over here. Because I did have a, a, um, a bag on the other dresser. I said, bitch, it was $3,000 in this other bag right here. If you was going to hit a lick, bitch, you didn't fucked up. I didn't really have three bands in the bag. But I just wanted to prove my motherfucking point to this nasty ass hoe. And I know he felt mighty fucking bad. He didn't respond. He didn't answer no phone calls. I just blocked that bitch and kept it the fuck moving. I said, you know what? I'm not going to let this mess up my aura. Let it mess up my night. I continue got in my motherfucking coin. But what I did to prevent this situation... As I said, um, I was never going to keep money around in a hotel anywhere. Bitch, I'll put it in, and you can put it in a motherfucking car. Um, put it in a glove box. If you got a debit card, make sure you always keep your money on a debit card. I know, like, you hustling in the middle of the night or the, or the day. You ain't got time to do all that. But when you when, you, when the fuck you can, put that shit on a debit card. Um, you can upload that shit at Walgreens and all that. And... If you don't want to just have all your money in the house, spread your money out. You can put it somewhere in a hotel, make sure that no one want you know won't fuck with it. At spread your shit out, put it somewhere like hide it. Don't ever leave your purse out in plain sight. Leave money out in plain sight. Also, to prevent this, um, when a date come in and you get the money, he set it down on a dresser. Grab that shit and put that bitch up somewhere when them hoes turn their head bitch i'll throw that motherfucking money somewhere honey i throw that bitch behind the dresser and i did it a couple of times so yes that's what you can do to prevent it but make sure you don't leave no money hanging out in plain sight also too some of these bitches is real strategic when they start asking you so you've been real busy tonight you've been making your money tonight be like just hell nah it's been real slow tonight just lie to them hoes because you know what I've been picking up they've been asking them questions so they can get your tea like oh this bitch just made a lot of money tonight I can hit a lick on her I can get her this bitch literally took the, he had got his whole hour session and took the donation back y'all that was some hoe ass shit so yes what you can do is spread your money out put that bitch in a car on a debit card Put it somewhere in a hotel where it's not, and a nigga come in there and rob you. He just open a drawer and it's money right there, baby. In your luggage, put that bitch in departments under clothes and bags and zips and shit. Put put that bitch up, okay? Open that motherfucking smoke detector bitch, and put the money in there. Ho, you gotta do what you gotta do because these bitches will get slick and they will steal your money back. Another crazy uh, worst moment of escorting. Um, well, there is quite a bit I can name. I'm just trying to go with the most outrageous ones. Um, this guy had hit me up and he was here in my city where I'm at in Bay City. And he was like straight down the road about three miles down. It was like early morning. I was ready to lay down and every fucking thing. I had just got done working all night. Tired as fuck. So anyway, I was like, all right, let me hop in the shower. I'll be on my way. So I hopped in the shower. I went to him. Nice ass neighborhood. 
nice ass home, big ass home. He um he owned a maintenance shop. A white guy. He was okay looking. He wasn't he wasn't my type. And I mean I'm attracted to white men. But that man in particular wasn't my type. Um, he was corny as fuck. He was just weird acting. He would just cap offering me the, the weed. And I'm like, I don't want to smoke. Really? You don't do anything? I don't want no motherfucking weed. He got beer. I don't want no beer. It's early in the morning. I just want to get this session over. Oh, and mind you, he was giving me $300 for the... Um, for an hour so i was like bitch hell yeah let's do it so um we went in his bedroom and um yeah we got busy and you know i'm sucking his dick we six nine style and he just kept fucking with my ass my asshole and i'm like i did use the bathroom like prior to taking a shower and i did not clean myself out so, um, he just kept playing with it, and I'm just like, oh my god, I'm just painting all over the place. He's not even inside of me at this point. The scent is all over the place. I'm just like, this is horrible. But he's not complaining. He's just doing what he's doing. And I'm like, this is a, just a nasty-ass mess. We got to get this shit over with. But anyway, he just kept smack, like... I asked to go to the bathroom. I went to the bathroom, right? And I'm like cleaning myself up this with He only got tissue in there. I'm just using all, all this man tissue. I'm just trying to clean myself out as much as possible because this is a nasty ass mess. And I don't even get down like this. Thank God this was in the past. But um, yeah, I'm just wipe, taking the tissue. And it's just so much tissue it's just nasty y'all just so nasty went to wash my hands he don't even have no soap and it just like what the f i did bitch i didn't even have my spray in my purse bitch at this time went back out there finished the service he just Kept smacking my motherfucking ass hard as hell. He just keeps smacking my ass hard as fuck. And I'm like, sweetie, can you please, like, stop smacking me so fucking hard on my ass? Like, that hurt. And that is a huge pet peeve of mine. I hate when guys smack my ass super hard. It hurts. That shit is not comforting at all. I don't like that. Don't smack my ass, bitch. You will get popped. So, he was like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm still sucking his dick, you know, can't even enjoy it at this fucking point or act like it because I'm a little irritated, you know, so, um, anyway, he asked to fuck me and he fucked me and like I said, I just cleaned up in his bathroom a little mess that I made, baby, it made, it made a bigger mess and I just painted all over the place and it was just Oh, did I tell you I used all the man tissue? So he had no more tissue in the bathroom. I used the whole entire roll. So, um, I'm like, how the fuck am I going to clean myself up? But at this point, I'm just like trying to get this shit over with. Um, you know, he fucked me all that. I'm just painting all over the place. So it's a hot, shitty ass mess. It's just so nasty in there. Disgusting. And... The bitch went to smack my ass super motherfucking hard again. I turned around and popped that motherfucking bitch in his face. I said, don't fucking touch me again. I said, I told you to stop smacking my motherfucking ass so motherfucking hard. Like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I said, you know what? Uh-uh. This is it. Bitch, let's wrap this session up. I'm going to fuck home. Cause I told your motherfucking ass to stop hitting me in my ass. Stop smacking me so fucking hard. I'm not no rag, raggedy ass doll. So I took my hot shitty ass mess out his motherfucking place and all and got my $300 and I should it. <laughs> so I guess that was like a worse moment because that was just disgusting. 
Um, a third one I just thought of real quickly. I don't know how I almost forgot this one. This man I seen a couple of times. He stayed way up north. He went and invited me to go to his place several times. And I wasn't finna go two and a half hours away at you know, to out in a country, out in the wilderness somewhere, like I, I no, like if you wanna do an all night session, you can just come my way and get a hotel or you can come to me. So anyway, I went to him already, um, at the hotel in my city before and you know, he was like well, what can I do to so you can come to me? I was like, well, I need to get my car fixed. I need a wheel alignment and um, a new tire. Um, and then I'll be able to get on the highway and come to you, which is I did needed that fix at the time. So he was like, oh, I'll take care of it. So I'm like, all right, bet. Oh, he was like, how much is it? I was like, how much was that shit going to be? I don't know. I think it was like 400, 500. And I was like, and I and I let him know. I said, hey, it's going to be 500 Okay, I'm going to send it to you. Baby, I'm just waiting and waiting, waiting. That bitch ain't send it, so I blocked that bitch. So I get a call one day at night, like 1 in the morning. Somebody was like, can you come, you know, we'll, we'll come to Saginaw up to the, you know, hotel. We'll. I'm like, yeah, that's no problem. Do an out call. Uh, you know, they sent my deposit. I went to them. Um, nice hotel soon as the motherfucking door open because the person is kind of hiding behind a door a little bit it's his motherfucking ass the same man that I blocked that been wanting me to come up north that he was going to pay to get my motherfucking car fixed and he was on some bullshit so I'm like so I just went inside <laughs> and I just sat down he's like hey what's going on I'm like What's going on with you? You was real slick with that one. Hitting me up um, from another motherfucking number, honey. Real slick. And what happened with you supposed to be getting my car fixed? Oh, well, you know, I, I know if you was... He was kind of like beating around the bush. Like, I didn't know if you were serious and all that. I'm like, boy, bye, whatever. And then he was telling me how this black girl... Because he was a white guy. This black girl that he was seeing and she's an escort and how he think that she's using him and all of this and how he was paying her all these thousands of dollars how she wanted all this money so anyway my rate was 500 for the um he was like how long can you stay because he wanted me to stay the entire day to the next day i said oh hell no I, I can't do that bitch like i got food at home on the stove i gotta put i ain't no we ain't doing that i said i'll tell you what I think it was like 2 o'clock at the time. I was like, I'll stay till... Fuck it, I'll stay to 6.30. Four and a half hours, 500. You know, we can do that. So he was like, alright. So anyway, he a drunk, hot-ass mess. He just irritated me the whole time. We in a, hot tub, in a hot tub. You know, he just kept trying to fuck around on me. The water splashing all over the place. All over the place. And I'm... And I said, sweetie, the water is splashing. All Can't you see what's going on? He's like, oh, shit. He then jumped up, grabbed a whole big-ass cover off that off the bed that's like 30 fucking pounds and put it on the floor trying to soak up all this water. Taking like 30 minutes to soak up all this water and he just, his big fat ass making all that fucking splashing. And all over the place. And he like, oh, shit, I hope it don't leak down into the next room and stuff. I'm just like, oh, as long as I get my coin, I don't give a fuck. Now, this is getting towards the end of the night. I think it's like 30 minutes left. So, anyway, I'm just um, sucking him, and he's sucking me. But he kept smacking. Y'all, he kept smacking my ass, and I told him not to smack it. And he kept on nibbling on my ball. And it hurt. You can't bite a fucking ball. Like, bitch, I ain't no torture toy. And I says, don't do that. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, I said it. Like, like that. Because that was the reaction. You caused the reaction. And I'm irritated at this point. You don't. And you know what? He did that one time. The time before I, 
I saw him before, he did the same fucking thing. And I told him not to do that. And he, this bitch and did it again. I said, what the, f didn't I tell you not to fucking do that no more? Like, what is your motherfucking problem? After I just snapped on him, I'm like, let's, let me just hurry up and make this bitch come so I can leave. Because he was taking a long motherfucking time to come and it was really pissing me off. So, he taking forever to come and I'm just like, can you come on like, you know, 30 minutes then ran up. I'm like, we over the four and a half hours at this point. It then went over into like a whole nother hour and something. I'm like, you got five minutes to come or I'm, this session is motherfucking over with. You're like, all right, all right. Why the bitch then nibble on it again? I got so motherfucking pissed. I got up. I said, oh, this motherfucking session is over with, bitch. It's over. And he just sitting there just looking. I said, uh, that's over with. Give me my motherfucking money so I can get the fuck about this bitch. He like, okay, well, um, I got, um, uh, 400. I said, 400? Give me my motherfucking money. Give me all my money, honey. Because one biggest mistake I fucked up that day, I did not get my money right when I walked to the door. This motherfucker gave me $400. And he went through his pants pocket and he had gather up 50 more dollars. So it's 450 I said, I want my other 50 motherfucking dollars and I'm not going nowhere until I get it. You're like, well, I don't know what to tell you because I don't, I don't have 50 more dollars. You got to wait until um, something clear on this bank. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit, bitch. Give me my motherfucking coin. That's why the fuck I'm here. I don't even know why I even trusted to just wait all them hours like that. And you just shorted me my money to buy just $50. Bitch, it ain't no just 50 motherfucking dollars. It's $50 that I worked for this whole time, ho. I'm not here for no motherfucking pleasure. This is business only. I'm not attracted to you. You're not my motherfucking man, bitch. Give me my motherfucking coin. So we, I'm literally just going in on this bitch. Like, going in on this bitch. I'm mad as fuck. The trans woman was like, sat to the side at this moment. I'm just like, aggressive as fuck. Like, ready to knock if you buck. If you feel me. I'm like, bitch, I don't give a fuck. Give my motherfucking coin. Like, give my motherfucking coin so I get the fuck about this. Like, bitch, I'm just really going in. I'm just, like, angry. And I don't ever want to feel that way again. As a woman, I'm... We're not going to get there. Um, and he trying to talk a little shit under his motherfucking breath, honey. He like, what are you going to do? Call the, the Crips and the Bloods? I said, bitch, I don't need to call no motherfucking body, honey. I'm right here. Are you wary? Because you the one that bringing up about calling people. I ain't worried about nobody, bitch. I whoop your ass myself, ho. I say, you know what? I'll take the 450. Don't ever in your motherfucking life call me again, bitch. I say, you lucky I don't go down there and report your ass and get your ass put out this hotel. And then I could have sworn that bitch threatened me and said he wish he had his what's the name with him but what whatever the name he called it, it it referred to a gun i do know that i heard that word before the word he said referred to a gun he was like i wish i had my what's the name with me and i'm like so what you gonna do what you want to do and someone like hazel just calm down because you was finna get you finna knock if you buck in this bitch this is a whole grown ass man on testosterone Bitch, you don't give a fuck. You finna, you finna scratch this bitch. But you might, you know, you a whole woman. You don't need to be out here tussling and bustling with these men. I said, I'm going to settle for this 450. Don't ever in your motherfucking life call me again. It's over with. Don't call me no more. I'm blocking your number. You can do the same with me. And that's it. To prevent this is to... Always get your donation as soon as you go to the date house. As soon as you go in that motherfucking door, you can get your donation right there. You ain't got to wait until you get in no living room, no bedroom, none of that. Get your motherfucking shit as soon as you walk in that door. 
in that deposit before you get to them. Because motherfuckers would try it. But it don't matter if you see the person before. It don't matter if this person is a regular. Don't ever let your guard down. So that taught me a lesson about that. Like, don't let your guard down. Don't even say you're going to do 450 this time for all night. And, you know, go back to your regular race the next. Because them hoes would never come with that same amount. So that was lesson learned. Always get your money um, when you walk, as soon as you walk in that bitch. Also, make sure you read in a room, because this man was really drunk, obviously. I, I should have paid attention to that, and was like, you know what, you too drunk, sweetie. Um, you know, it just left, you ain't even gotta tell him that, you can just leave the fuck out that bitch. So he was already drunk, and he did threaten me with a gun. Yeah, when it started giving red flags, just get the fuck out that bitch, okay? Just get the fuck on. Thank God I was I walked away from that situation, you know, without going to jail, without anyone being hurt. So instead of texting the whole time, make sure you're picking up the phone so you can hear these these people voices. Oh, you know, that that is lesson learned, okay? Hi, babes. I also forgot to add um during that situation during the first story time. Make sure you always have some pepper spray on you at the least. Have a blade on you. Um, bitch, a gun, a big ass knife, a sword, bitch, have something and be ready because you might not have any dangers in your escort journey, but it can happen at any time based on the, the character or whatever. So I always have um, pepper spray on me and, and a blade and, you know, all that good shit. So make sure you stay strapped, okay? Stay ready, stay strapped. And have that bitch very close by. So if you need it, you can you can go and get it, okay? Another crazy ass moment. Ugh, shit, this is getting kind of long. I might have to wrap this little video up, honey. Oh my God, this one is crazy. So anyways, this white guy came to me again. Damn, it's a lot of white guys, huh? That is my main audience, for real. But anyway, um... This white guy came to me. He was real cute. So my type. Um, he into a little rough. You know, you want to be my little whore and all that. I was like, yes, daddy, I want to be your little whore. You know, I'm into a little something too. If I'm attracted to you. So, um, anyway, he just getting mighty aggressive, bitch. He just like choking me and um, pulling my hair a little bit. No, he was really pulling my motherfucking hair, bitch. He was pulling my hair. He was choking me. And he was smacking me, too, in my face. He just was, like, smacking me and stuff like that. And it was a little hard, but it wasn't, like, real hard. So I'm just, like, getting slapped around like a little, a little whore or whatever. Like, I can't believe I even entertained that. But anyway... I'm telling y'all my story, so don't motherfucking judge me, bitch. Because don't y'all hoes want to hear the real? So anyway, he was smacking me around, choking me, spitting all in my mouth and everything. Like, he was just, like, torturing the bitch. I'm just like, oh, my God, okay. Um. Next day, you know, he was like, oh, shit. And I'm like, what's the matter? He was like, your eye. Bitch, I jumped up and ran to the bathroom. Both of my eyes is black. This eye is really swole. It's swole, bloodshot red, like really big. Black all right here. Black right here. The man that black my eyes and everything. I wasn't even really mad at him. I wasn't mad at him at all. No, I wasn't because... It was my fault for letting him do that. You don't, as a queen, you don't sit there and let a man just smack you around like that. Even if you into it, let it be to a certain degree. I let, I allowed it because, you know, I'm into a lot of stuff. But it kind of got out of control. I didn't know it was, he was smacking me that hard. Well, I didn't know that that would happen, you know, because it hadn't happened to me before. So... What I do to prevent that is n I'm not doing it no more. You can't touch my face. My face is priceless. Like, look at it. 
And this is no makeup. Look. Look at oh get don't get into my lace, bitch. Don't bitch. <laughs> exactly. My face is motherfucking priceless, ho. And Yeah, that's what I, I just don't involve myself in hardcore play like that anymore. And for the people, don't, when you getting with these men, don't do something that you don't want to do for one. This was something that I agreed to do. Um, do something that you don't want to do. And if it gets something to that degree of choking, slapping, don't do that shit. Don't get into dominating and all of that because somebody can get hurt like unintentionally like on accident you can get hurt and that's what happened with me i got hurt on accident it wasn't even like on purpose um so yeah just don't be doing some crazy ass shit like that okay like i know bitches can get rough out here like you can just like to get your ass beat out but don't be doing all that bitch and don't be looking at me too like i'm just some bitch that just get beat up because that don't happen but anyway, um, I think I gave y'all enough stories for today. Um, there is more. I just thought of a couple already. But we're going to wrap this video up. I'll make a part two or three or whatever we need to do. And I'm out this bitch. I love you, baby. Bye.